Let's start in Lefty Heartland, California, where another retail store, this time in Nordstrom, was looted by criminals who managed to take around sixty dollars to $100,000 worth of goods in a hot minute. There you go. Now, this has to be a joke. Vegan horse riding, Sophie. I refuse to believe this is real. Vegan horse riding championship in Finland goes viral. The sport doesn't involve any actual horses. Instead, players ride a stick with a toy horse head, prance around with their own human legs and even jump over barriers. The sport is officially called hobby horsing, with about 1,500 people competing in it from all over the world. So, if, uh, is that real or not? They say it's real. I don't believe it. Rita, where do you find this content? <laughs> Finland. Uh, and you know what? I'm actually happy for them. They seem very happy at this event to be riding around on these fake horses. Uh, and they're vegans. Good, good luck to them. Good luck to them. It can't be any more boring than real equestrian because, <laughs> you know, I'd rather watch paint dry than that. Now, here's a charming young lady who was protesting our Ron DeSantis event Watch her throw a punch, that happens right at the start, chase the guy while shouting abuse, and then ask the cops to arrest him. So you recently um, you, you uh, announced your economic independence plan. Uh, meanwhile, we've seen what Biden continues to do. So give us a glimpse of how contrast I don't know why Oh, she wasn't done yet. Then she decided to find her inner blue head Karen with the officer filming him and wanting to know his name so she could lodge a complaint. Uh, that is unacceptable. You have to have an economy where people work hard, play by the rules, get the most out of their God-given ability, raise a family, buy a home, afford a car, do all those things. If the economy doesn't work for those middle-class families, we are not going to succeed as a country. So everything we're going to be doing is going to be focused on uh, really... Ah, oh, gosh, lovely. <laughs> um, what do you make of that? The sense of entitlement there is astonishing because you've just chucked a punch. I don't know what happened before that, but we, we saw her throw a punch and then be absolutely outraged that the police officer didn't arrest the man she tried to punch. Rita, I know that you don't like people very much with blue hair, so I think you might have an issue with that, <laughs> firstly. But this is crazy. When they're trying to prosecute an argument, why do they get so violent and aggro? It just diminishes anything that they're standing up for. That was just insane. She's lucky she wasn't arrested. Oh, well, talking about aggro, let's go to Austin, Texas, which may as well be in, in California these days. Have a look at this. And things took a nasty turn when one of the dancing, chanting protesters was apparently misgendered. Here the protester claims she's a man and points to her pronoun badge. It's proof. <laughs> Again, charming stuff. Uh, Austin, Texas. I don't know if you've been to Texas much, but Austin is like you've entered San Francisco. It's nowhere like the rest of Texas. <laughs> Stay away. 
Yes. Rita, she had, one of those women there had blue hair again, so I'm a bit concerned there's a, a pattern here. But again, why are they carrying on like pork chops? It diminishes their argument. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, because I think their arguments are completely vacuous and empty. That possibly is the reason why <laughs> they carry on like pork chops. Sophie Ellsworth, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, today. Rachel.